Well, initially, I didn't even know that children could get cancer. So it was a very, it was a shocking thing for us to learn, to find out. Um, I learned so many things. I learned just from what cancer is. Um, we didn't know that it was a tumor. We thought it was in the blood or we, we had no idea what cancer was. We thought that it was, you know, an old person's disease, a white man's disease. So that for us really just put us in a position where we realized that, um, you know, it wasn't really being ignorant. It's just a thing that you think would never happen to you, you know. So our son was diagnosed with bilateral retinoblastomas, which is a sort of eye cancer. Um, it was in both eyes. Um, he was born with it. The doctors didn't pick it up though. So by the time he was diagnosed, he was about 14 months old. Um, and it was a bit too late for, for the one eye. Um, and then we tried to save the other eye. Um, unfortunately, treatment didn't work, both chemo and radiation. So he ended up um, losing both of his eyes. That's how we got rid of the cancer. I thought I'd failed my son because why didn't we you know, get this thing earlier so that we could at least save his eyes? Um, so you go through a whole you know, process where you blame yourself as a parent and you think, why me? Um, and then you think, okay, what next? Because this is carrying on, this, this whole process is still carrying on and you're still dealing with all these emotions. I basically decided to be strong for my son. He's, he's a very strong little man. So I think we got all the strength from him initially because even th through all these operations, through his chemotherapy, through his radiation therapy, he was strong. He never went back home and la laid in the bed and was like, oh, I'm sick. You know, he'd get home and play. Even during chemo at the hospital, he would puke and then he would play. So he's very strong and we, we, we drew a lot of strength from that. It's just to try and be strong around them. You can break down on your own, you know, with your husband, with your wife, with your family. But when you're around them, make everything as normal as possible, you know. Um, if they like to play, make sure they play. Don't, don't now put them in a box and say, you're sick. You can't play outside. You can't do this. If they want to do that and they have the energy to do it, let them do it. Let them explore. Um, let them be children, you know, and then when it's time to, to go through the treatment or whatever, when they're feeling sick, then you support them. But I think it, the main purpose is not to concentrate on that you have cancer and you, you are sick. I think it's to concentrate on all the other positive aspects in life.